Hello, and uh, welcome to day three of my um, kind of video diary or whatever of commissioner in DC uh, with my issue one trip um, talking to, um, uh, you know, uh, where we were talking to congressional and Senate leaders today uh, on the Hill. We had an amazing uh, time. Uh, I, I gotta tell you, this trip uh, so far has been one of the highlights of my career. I've uh, uh, rarely been a part of something so well organized and uh, bipartisan. And uh, the, the, the people that I've met in the Issue 1 group, both on the advocacy side and uh, the Faces of Democracy, which I happen to be a part of, uh, and uh, you know, the, the commissioners and election uh, professionals from across the country, uh, this has been nothing short of amazing. Uh, today, we actually went to the Hill uh, to meet with um, different lawmakers to talk about election funding and protection for election workers. Uh, there was about 60 meetings. I did not take part in all of those 60 meetings. We had a, several different teams, an incredibly organized uh, effort uh, uh, in just... Uh, um, the, the issue one staff putting together all these meetings and uh, giving us briefings, documents, uh, moving us around, interns, um, having us go in different, um, you know, different permutations of different groups uh, were uh, uh, working as well. I was lucky. Um, I, I got uh, to meet with, in person, Senator Padilla from uh, California and Senator Van Hollen from Maryland as well as New York's own uh, Congress, uh, Congressman Joe Morelli. Um, but, uh, you know, j those were the in-person meetings that uh, we were able to do. But we also had some uh, meetings with uh, high-level staffs, including uh, Hakeem Jeffries, his uh, chief of staff and uh, legislative director, had a big meeting with us, um, and uh, along with, you know, other New York delegations, Yvette Clark, or Congresswoman Yvette Clark, we met with Senator Mark Warner's staff as well as uh, Congresswoman uh, Nikita Williams, who took over for John Lewis, um, one of my personal heroes. And uh, I also uh, met with the staff of uh, Congresswoman Abigail Spenberger um, from Virginia. Those are, those you know, those were my meetings yesterday, but there were so many other meetings uh, that people took place and we just had a, a great time uh, great reception. Um, I, I was hoping to meet uh, with, uh, with my congressman, uh, Brandon Williams, but uh, that, that scheduling, I guess, did not work out. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to meet in district because this is a bipartisan effort. Um, and it is not about uh, you know, one party or another. And that's one of the things that I really have uh, uh, taken away. Uh, you know, I spent a lot of the day yesterday with Bruce Brown, who is uh, a election uh, supervisor in Arlington. Uh, he was uh, with me for most of the day. He's a Republican, and uh, we got along great. We were talking about election administration throughout the meetings, in between meetings, and uh, we had a wonderful uh, rapport together. I also uh, spent a lot of time with Spencer uh, Maestro, who is uh, a, a reporter and poll worker out of New York. Uh, that that was uh, my main group yesterday, uh, but uh, there were others, and uh, we had we we had a lot of uh, um, we had a lot of uh, uh, you know I another person I met through this trip was Bill Gates, uh, not the Microsoft engineer, but the board of supervisors from. Uh, uh, Arizona, who has been at the center of a lot of the right-wing uh, disinformation, and uh, he's a Republican, and I, I got to spend time with his chief of staff, Zach, uh, as well, uh, just talking about how we can make elections better and how we can do better for our citizens and, uh, and, and get by this moment that we're in. This has just been an incredible trip. Um, I have one more day. Uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, I will update you later that night. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm being a little opaque about a lot of the 
the meetings and I and I do a lot of updates either later that day or the day after as opposed to live. And the reason is is because we've been asked to um, be as uh, secure as possible uh, because um, uh, we uh, just uh, uh, it, it's been uh, it's been tough uh, on a lot of these election administrators. They've had it a lot worse than I've had it. Um, I mean, we we all have stories to tell, and uh, and we exchange a lot of those stories about the uh, uh, the, the 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 stuff that uh, um, we've all gone through. Um, I. Uh, I talked about the salary uh, reduction that happened in 2020 and some of the uh, other controversies that have happened in our area. But some of these people have had death threats against them, have had, they can't go to their nephews' basketball games. Uh, just phenomenal, uh, brave people who all they wanted to do was serve and be election officials. Um, it's. It's been incredible, and we have one more day together, uh, and I'll report on that either later tonight or tomorrow. Um, you know, some of the people I got to spend some time with this week was like Nick Castillo and Omar, uh, uh, for, uh, and uh, several different uh, administrators from Philadelphia. Uh, I got to talk to Shanna Bellows, and we spent much time together. Uh, she's the main Secretary of State, and we are uh, going to be keeping in touch because both of us have an interest in bringing Eric, the um, electronic uh, 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 registry index, the, the nationwide cross-check to New York. And so we're going to be talking about how we can uh, work with lawmakers on that. And, you know, there's just been a lot of uh, great collaboration Um you know, I, I've been working with, uh, again, Lisa Dealey, who is from uh, uh, Philadelphia as well. Uh, Jim Condos, who is the former Secretary of State with uh, Vermont. He's been here. We've had a, a great uh, working relationship. Edward Lindsay, who's one of the um, um, state, uh, 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 Georgia State Election Boards, another Republican who I, uh, I was able to spend a lot of time with. Uh, in the in the prep meetings, uh, Brianna Lennon, uh, an old friend who uh, runs the who's the Boone County, Missouri uh, co county clerk, but also runs the uh, uh, one of our, my favorite uh, uh, podcasts, High Turnout, Wide Margins, who a uh, national podcast about election administration. Amber McReynolds, who used to be the chief uh, uh, of elections in Denver, Colorado. Uh, again, I, I talked about Spencer Bystel, uh, who is from New York. We actually followed each other on, on Twitter, but uh, didn't have a chance to connect. Uh, Omar Sabir from uh, uh, Philadelphia as well. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time together um, uh, on Monday and also, uh, you know, in the planning sessions. Uh, these have just been, uh, oh, and, you know, another Republican that I, I spent a lot of time with, Tanya Wickman, who's like a... Uh, uh, from a, a very small county in Missouri, about 26,000 voters, but she's taking the time to come out here, a Republican who just wants to be able to go and do her job without being harassed. Uh, just brave, brave people. And uh, Julie Wise from King County uh, in uh, Sacramento, she runs the Seattle, uh, not Kings County from New York. <laughs> she's a uh, she talks about how you know how, you know how she's an elected register and how it is and another Republican that I spent a lot of time with Wesley Wilcox from Marion County, Florida. Um, him and I probably never see eye to eye on any uh, ideological issues, but we had a great time together this week, uh, just talking about wanting to serve our country, wanting to be election officials without being harassed and. Uh, he uh, he's great. I, I, uh, I hope to keep in touch with him as well. And it helps that he's from Marion County, Florida, which is right next door to Latchford County, Florida, where I lived for so long. So we had a little bit to, uh, to get along. It was just such an amazing time um, uh, this week. And it's not over. Uh, tomorrow proves to be uh, another day that uh, I'm going to learn a lot uh, about the history of uh, elections. So, um, yeah, uh, that's that's all I got. It's been so great. I'm so 
honored to be chosen to be a part of this group, honored that uh, to continue to work as your elections commissioner in Onondaga County as well, and one of yours, we're a bipartisan team. Um, and it's been reinvigorating to see all these people coming together in a rough time uh, to make elections better. So um, uh, stay tuned either you know, later Thursday night or early Friday morning for my wrap up of this week. Um, as uh, I go out on Thursday and, uh, and, and have a few more uh, things. But I'll be back at work on Friday because we're going to get ready for the June primary. And, um, I, you know, we'll have uh, less uh, about a week till early voting for the June primary. So the staff has been great. I've been touching base with them. They've been working hard to get everything done. Um, and uh, they uh, uh, are very... Uh, uh, energized and uh, getting ready for our June primary and of course uh, what comes after that big big things going on this year so uh, that's all I got for Commissioner in DC uh, stay tuned for one more episode of this and then I'll uh, uh, I'll turn it over uh, and get back to my regularly scheduled content starting next week bye-bye <laughs>